all right just wanted to start out with a little bit of a new thing kind of wanted to show you guys something basically explaining how melee damage res works in a sense but also uh how range damage res works as well so contrary 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 to what a lot of people think melee damage res and range damage res isn't based on like what type of range unit they are or if they use melee attacks or whatnot it's basically based on distance so mod a actually uh shows this very well in the sense that basically it has a certain mechanic where if you're within a certain amount of range aka melee range it will basically not kill you right with the eight second check um and everything further than that is range damage risk and then anything further than that is nothing because it shouldn't be in range at all but yeah basically around this 500 area basically it shows i forgot the measurement i don't even know if there's measurements uh let me see if i can check yeah is it let's just say it's within like 500 range or so so within the 500 range mark uh that is basically considered melee range and anything further than that is range damage so pretty much most of your tanks should be running melee damage or most of your units should be if they're uh supposed to be tanking a little bit more damage than they're supposed to so that's usually what you want to run so uh, a good example is Gaiyun. now Gaiyun actually does dip into this uh melee range for a bit with her special and with she puts herself with her passive a little bit outside of it this actually turns into range damage res so around here is the range damage and a little bit further up would have been uh melee damage in a sense so that's a little bit of info that hopefully it helps you uh well i just woke up and it's, it's terrible <laughs> but yeah hopefully that does help you uh on that another thing is the crit damage res interaction now with the crit damage res interaction uh basically in the sense that if you have a little bit more crit damage res than how much your crit rate is actually it pretty much almost nullifies the crit which is pretty useful in some circumstances most of the time it would just run a weapon and armor crit damage res or maybe just the weapon crit damage res and pretty much you nullify all crits damage dealt towards you or it also reduces the damage of crit dealt to you so it's actually a very very useful stat and a lot of people don't know this but uh yeah this is actually very useful against certain people that always get crit uh because people with guaranteed crits basically deal a whole lot less damage to these units so this is a very very useful uh substat for strikers and whatnot and defenders as well always another uh thing that you probably didn't know is that when you're doing raids and stuff whatever is on your own raid or it, it's kind of weird but basically whatever is on your raid uh branch whatever branch it is your branch leader will be the support unit other than that uh those are the main ones that i wanted to point out there is also one more that actually requires me to go to a certain document so this is basically just showing you the stats and stuff but uh something you probably didn't know is that after this change of removing the implants and whatnot this whole entire ui update pretty much on average now every all the stats have been slightly improved by a decent bit but uh i definitely say that it's on average around a 15 percent stat increase whenever you go from 100 to 110 so very um whoever compiled this is actually very uh very nice to uh make us the formula here which is basically your stats is equal to your loyalty bonus which is two percent plus stat growth increases plus your base current level minus one times per level plus per level max now 
after this formula we have tested that it pretty much does equal up to most of these values and in game it also shows that um and also passive stats and stuff add in towards the end of all of this calculation so that doesn't really play a part into this at all but yeah in general uh most characters have pretty much better stats than they, what they had beforehand and also if you were ever curious about what loyalty or what one tending does for you it's a pretty hefty amount 15 percent stat increase is pretty pretty damn strong now other than that we have some other miscellaneous uh facts and that is some more commonly known ones uh jushun he got nerfed twice he used to be able to counter uh ultimates as well as bosses and awakening units but he got nerfed twice <laughs> hilda used to be a four cost unit so with four cost stats as well they have retained over as a three cost unit so she's a very strong unit as well as someone that you probably know very well as well and the reason why she's so strong is because she also used to be a four cost unit so she basically retained all these stats as a three cost unit and she got buffed as well so those are some things you might have not known at all but uh yeah i don't know if this will help you at all but maybe it does i definitely recommend uh sharing the video if you thought any of these uh fun facts were useful kind of like the ground damage res and not ground damage res range damage res and melee damage res interaction as well as the crit damage res interaction if you didn't know about that make sure you share it to other people who probably don't know as well and thank you guys for watching it's the first time doing this kind of video and honestly like, I, I i don't think i'll do this again <laughs> uh, it's way too awkward for me i i really hate it uh i don't like it at all i'm not gonna lie it is what it is though just wanted to get this fact out somehow to y'all oh there's one more thing actually but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this stuff because I was kind of annoyed that a lot of people didn't know this kind of stuff. And yeah, needed some way to put that info out. So I might as well try this type of video. But also another thing is that uh, the original three units only have this happy dialogue. And honestly, I don't think anyone else has this, which is very interesting. So they have this happy uh dialogue but no one else it seems has this kind of dialogue which is very interesting but yeah that's promotion thank you guys for watching and uh i also might as well cover um the review part might as well might as well fit everything into one video but yeah um, Rosaria getting a 3 ban, which is very interesting. Bronze must be using her a lot. Seraphil getting another ban, which is also interesting. Gaiun go going down one ban. Evelyn going up one ban. Or two, was it? It was two. Which is interesting. It's more so the first part of the week where, uh, Suyun wasn't really used. Kong got a one ban. Expected that. Young Harum got a one ban. Expected that. Harub got a one ban. Expected that. Down one, down one. And I predicted armor type and Lake Superior getting an extra ban. And also, we have some rerunning up units. We have Lin Jin, Kim Sobin, and Liv Allen. Very strong units. Uh, I, I'm wondering how this will play a part into things. Not really sure what I want to run this week. But, uh... Yeah, with all these ships and stuff being banned, I might just use Kami. And just hope for the best. I'm not gonna lie. Having these, uh... Stuff... Mm, I don't know. It's gonna be interesting for the most part. But yeah. Obviously, all the waking units have been unbanned, but I think I'm probably gonna do something like this. The figure and twins got unbanned. Yeah, they haven't been banned, so. Hmm. And Harab's not here. This week's gonna be cancer. Alright. Well, I guess we could try something like this then very low cost team do something like this maybe this will work eventually hmm. 
hell would I want to build this team? We could put in Liv Allen as well if we wanted to. I mean, at this point, we could also put like maybe four away units in if we want. That'd be pretty interesting, I think. That would definitely be pretty interesting. I wonder if this will work. That would be insane if it did, but I also try it, right? Let's actually give the CDR stuff to Jin. Although giving her the ace. And then... This one... Twins, I have no idea what they would run. I do know what they would run. I have it set here. Very nice. So we have everyone basically built, it seems. Uh, her. What do I want to build her on? I guess I could use the attack set, maybe? Hmm. Actually, I could use her tank set. That would be interesting. Uh, do I want Hilda here? Hilda would be interesting for sure. But if I run tanky Yumina, that would be that would be pretty cool. Not gonna lie. I actually do want to try that. Um Tanky Yumina. Do I have a set for that? I do. Let's try Tanky Yumina. And then uh we can get rid of her then. And add in who should we add in? Ooh, Conga Band. We try Sylvia again. Sylvia would be pretty interesting. Could be helpful. Could be helpful. Hmm. <laughs> interesting. I could put in Sylvia. Mm. Or Jalen. We'll try Jalen. Okay. This is gonna be an interesting team comp though. Uh, I'm probably just gonna replace this for Lena McKenzie. Lena McKenzie. Okay. Sure, why not? We'll, we'll try this. I don't know if this will work, but it might. It might not. It probably won't. It probably won't. Uh, shit. Honestly, that was why. This is like three, four strikers. Four strikers. All right. Well, we'll have this then. Might as well. We'll try this if it doesn't work it is what it is i don't really care about pvp that much anymore but if this works this would be this might be pretty fun but uh yeah god i'm so hungry Oh well, no one's playing. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is part of the reason why I don't PvP. Oh well. It is what it is. Shake it up, 
Indeed. Uh, well, I guess that was it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Running Yuna is a uh, is a big meme. I'm not gonna lie to you. There's really no reason for you to run. You know? Or not Mina, Yuna, my bad. I don't know why you would run Yuna, but This week's meta, you kinda you're kinda forced to use NYB, Su Yun, and uh Lin Jin. That's kinda it is kinda it is what it is, you know? But uh hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. But yeah, that was it for this video. Uh thank you guys for watching and I'll see. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna try and do another video like this. Uh so embarrassing. But it was kind of one of the only ways for me to show off like a lot of random ass facts in weird ass areas at the same time. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later. So, okay.